everybody, I'm Zach from Stryker, your island-based rep, and this is uh, the Stryker Procuity bed. And uh, over the next five minutes, I'm gonna demonstrate the different features and, and how to use it. So, starting from the top, there's two power cords, okay? One powers the bed, the other powers the auxiliary outlet on the end of the bed, and we will get there later on, okay? So that's why two power cords. This is your two-stage IV pole, okay? To Lower it, like that, and then like that. This comes off really simply if you need to get uh, access to the patient, okay? Moving our weight to the side rails, this is a smart device holder, so the uh, patients can store their phones or whatever in there. Um, this is your patient control, obviously, right here. Our side rails are a little unique, so our side rails have three different positions. This is your standard upright position. We have an intermediate position, like so, and that's uh, good for getting in and out of bed. So if I'm getting out of bed, I have something to hold on to, okay? So maybe that you know helps them for not reaching from you, maybe a little bit uh, less work for yourself. Um, and then if I'm getting in bed, if it's in the standard upright position, I'm about 5'11". My feet are down here, okay? So you're gonna have to scooch me up the mattress. If you go into your immediate position, I still have some coverage, I have something to hold on to, and now I'm here. So you won't have to scooch me up. So subtle, but a really nice uh, feature there on the side rails. Um, some basic uh, controls here from the side rails as well, like so. Moving down to the frame, I'm just gonna lift the mattress up here. So let's talk about restraints. These are compatible for Pinel. So this is your kind of uh, mid location, or you can use here, depending on what uh, kind of restraint you, you're using. And then of course, at the head and foot end, you have some right here. And then the same kind of loop down below. Okay, so I'm just going to raise the bed a little bit, or the head of the bed I should say. The CPR uh, lever will just get the head of the bed flat really quick. So, like so. Um, this is your Foley bag hook, this is really important. Um, hang it here because if you hang it here it will not weigh the Foley bag with the patient. Okay, if you hang it here, it will. So you'll get a little bit more accurate weight, which is important from the bed exit alarm. Uh, and then it won't get in the way of the side rails either if you hang it, hang it there. Alrighty, this bed goes very low. It goes to 11 and a half inches from the ground and it's uncompromised low bed height. So our challenge was to make a bed go low, but also have it open underneath here so that you can get your overbed tables and your lifts and whatnot in without having to like position them around wheels or anything like that. So really positive feedback thus far on that feature uh, alone. Raise it back up a little bit. And we'll move to the, um, the computer or the control center, if you will. Um, first of all, before I hop into that real quick, here's the auxiliary outlet that we referenced at the beginning of the video. Plug anything you want in there, mattress, that. And there's a handle underneath here. Press, or sorry, uh, engage it. To fill this space. or anything else you might need to kind of have at the um, uh, foot of bed. Okay, so first things first, with uh, with any bed, you're gonna wanna zero the scale. In order to do that, we're gonna tap the scale icon, and we're gonna tap zero. New patient, yes. Of course, we're gonna wanna have the linens and the pillows in bed, but for this sake, we don't have that this time, but um, that's uh, that's good practice. So now that the bed is zeroed, um, 
we're gonna go ahead and, and get into the bed exit alarm, but before we do that, um, there are some other functions from the scale uh, menu. So you can save weight, you can track weight, you can add or change equipment. Because we're gonna tr try and keep this video uh, um, pretty brief, we won't go into that, but um, do play around with that when you have a sec. Okay, so this bed is smart. So for the bed exit alarm, and Dallas, maybe if you just wanna come to the stream here, if a patient gets in bed, it's gonna automatically prompt you to set the bed alarm. So I get in bed, it detects weight, okay? It's gonna ask you if you wanna turn the bed alarm on. So in this case, we will. Perfect. And it's gonna to default to the middle sensitivity zone. That's what we call our fall risk zone. So it's gonna allow me to move amongst the bed, okay? It's gonna allow me to get my feet here. But as soon as I kind of get my ankles off and I take a little bit of pressure off my butt, it's gonna alarm, okay? So we'll hit stop. And so that's the metal sensitivity zone. We'll show you the, um, the, the lower sensitivity zone if we can just tap this button here. Dallas, please. Okay, turn it back on. Yep turn on and then maybe just tap the uh, the lower sensitivity zone there okay <clears throat> low low yeah so this is I'm gonna be able to get to my feet this is more about w wanting to know if a patient's out of bed versus um, them getting um, out of bed so I'll just demonstrate that right now like so we'll turn that off so it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, that, that smart prompt is going to save you, um, hopefully, some you know one of the things that you have to remember when you're when you're getting the patient in bed. Um, this is your basic. This icon right here is your basic uh, positioning controls. Okay, so you have a chair uh, position. You have a, a, a level all or a flat position. Notice that it's going to show you degrees on the screen as you raise things, and it's gonna show you the height of the bed as well. Here are your Trendelenburg and Reverse Trendelenburg. It's gonna be a press and hold for all of those buttons. Here's your motion lockout, so you can lock up the head, you can lock up the knee, you can lock up the height, and you can also lock out 30 degrees or above. There is a nightlight on this, it's set to automatic, so patient gets out of bed in the night, it turns on. Patient gets back in bed, it turns off, okay? So, we can set, we have that set to automatic. If you want that off indefinitely, just tap it. Now it's off. If you want it on at all times, tap it again. On at all times, tap it again, automatic. Most sites will leave it on automatic. And finally, this is what we call iBed Watch. Okay, this is a bed configuration monitoring system. It's a fall prevention tool. So let's say all you care about with this bed is that the two side, top side rails are up at all times, okay? We're gonna select those. And this LED light is green. Green means good, we're in compliance because both of these side rails are up. Let's say a family member comes in drops the side rail for their visit, and then forgets to raise the side rail when they leave. Well, from the hallway, you're gonna be able to see that something's up with this bed because it's flashing an amber light. You're gonna look on the screen, it's gonna tell you where the problem is. As soon as we raise this back up, it's gonna go to green. So, some sites use this uh, religiously and it has proven to, um, to prevent falls, which is great. So hopefully there's some buy-in there for everybody. So um, I'm just gonna turn it off for now. And that would be your kind of quick rundown of the Procuity bed.